Hey there, manifesting generators. Thank you for joining me for your intuitive reading. If you're new to the channel, I do my readings based on your human design type, one of five. And I use tarot, oracle cards, and sometimes runes. And the readings are non-date specific. So if the reading resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I asked about your current situation and I got Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. And I clarified that with my fairy oracle card. This is Geo the Slow, and he came out reversed. So this is very typical. In fact, I, if I remember right, I think that last week we were talking about anger and frustration. It seems like maybe you're still, you're still feeling that way. Um, yeah, there is this frustration about the pace that things are moving at. The slow pace, the stagnation, the not seeing physical results, um, not really understand, understanding why this is all happening, like what is the holdup. And this talks about like as frustrated as you are, a logical inquiry is not going to give you what you need. Again, this is about trust. You needing to trust that it may look crazy and strange and weird and slow and sluggish, but things are happening exactly as they need to even if they're behind the scenes. So really just like tap into that inner knowing, trust your heart and soul, trust your guides, trust spirit. And that's sort of where you are right now. You're on the tail end of that frustration. What we're moving away from is that logical, approach to things that that need to have the order and and constantly be moving like as difficult as it is for you you know some things have to slow down but this is a great time to play splash around play get creative do silly things that you wouldn't normally allow yourself to do. And as a clarifier, I got, it'll be the retriever. So I'm going to especially focus on the fact that Ilby is focusing in here on the throat, the throat chakra. There's probably some healing that needs to be done here. So one of the best ways that I handle this, um, and I am also a manifesting generator, by the way, is I love to sing. And I don't sing in front of people. It's my private thing that I like to do my by myself. I play my ukulele and I and I sing, uh, but somehow use your voice. Use your voice to communicate, to tell a story, recite a poem, hum a tune, whatever it is, it's really activating this throat chakra, opening things back up, healing this area. Sometimes it opens up like a channel, you know? Um, and I'm, you know, as I've told you before, I'm not a human design expert, but I, 
I remember right. I think all manifesting genera generators have the motorized throat. So that allows us to verbalize our ideas and like it's a really huge part of who we are. So it's interesting that that comes up. Um, that, that need to, if, you know, maybe you've been hesitant to share something or um, voice something, you know, a good way to be able to do that when you need to is, is practice playing. Singing really opens things up. It gives you a sense of confidence. Um, a great example of this, I think, have you guys ever seen Sister Act? Um, I forget her name, but she was the petite little nun, and she had this little squeaky voice, and then Whoopi Goldberg comes in and takes over the choir, and she she presses on her diaphragm and all of a sudden she like belts out the most like beautiful sounds that are just like so rich and so loud and nobody she surprised herself and everyone around her that's that's sort of what we're getting at is like it's there it's within you this is part of who you are now you just need to like play and activate it all right so that was moving away from logic, leaning into the play, leaning into that, um, you know, singing, play, playing in that sort of way, telling stories, etc. And I love this, this last message of what we're moving towards. So, I pulled this out in reverse, which is a little sad to begin with, but overall really happy. Otter spirit, look how sweet they are, all nuzzled in this little heart. So sweet. So maybe, I don't know about you, but I have found myself for the past couple of months, especially with what's going on in the world, really been on quite a roller coaster so you know maybe some days or a lot of days you know I feel pretty good just going along and then all of a sudden I take this dip and it just is like what happened I don't feel good I don't feel you know I don't feel pretty <laughs> I I don't I feel alone I feel separated I feel you know, so a lot of those feelings are coming up, and it's okay to um, to be doing that. And um, I don't believe all manifesting generators, but those of us with that emotional authority, um, and I have that, especially we have that emotional wave that we sort of have to ride out all the time till we find more equilibrium. So. Like, you know, if we're going to measure how we're feeling and, and what we're feeling, it's best to measure it when we're sort of in the middle, not here and not here. Um, and also it's a better place to act from. You know, if you're making a decision or moving forward with something, it's better to feel a bit more neutral about it than, than to be like here or here. Um, so maybe a lot of feelings have been coming up of, you know, that you know, aloneness, um, insecurity, that self-doubt, feeling imperfect, unloved, unworthy, that kind of stuff. And both this card, Otter, you are never alone. And the fairies who were kissed by the pixies. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just really sweet. They're all very loving to each other. 
Very sweet. Uh, both of these cards are saying that love is available to you from all directions. It is a time, like what we're moving towards is healing the heart. So we're really healing the heart. We're starting to open up. Being ready to receive love as well as put more of it out into the world. And as it's coming to you, like if you've had a block, like where you feel like, oh, you know, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to feel vulnerable. If you, maybe the walls start to come down. If love's coming in to you, you know, really open up, accept it, soak it up, pass it on. And the relationships that you currently have, maybe with your family, your partner, your children, maybe those, um, this is a time of really deepening those relationships, strengthening those. And it can also signal that it's time for something new to come in. New love to come in your life whatever form that takes. Um, and just before I, I end this, as we were talking about, you know, that sort of self-love, getting over the self-doubt, the feelings of unworthiness, <clears throat> etc. cetera. Uh, I did a practice last week that somebody, somebody posted online, um, how to create your own sigils. So sigils are symbols that we can infuse with intent and use in our everyday life in our magic or spiritual practices. And, you know, sigils are used all over the world. You'd be surprised normal things you know of as symbols are actually, you know, technically sigils. So the way I did this was you, you come up with the theme for your sigil. So in my case, you know, I was hitting a low point in my roller coaster and I decided to do a self-love sigil. So I sat down and I wrote down a, a list of all of the things I wanted to heal for myself to, um, that would add to self-love and self-acceptance and that sort of thing. And then you take the first letter of every action word in your list and then combine them and just draw them, reorganize them and keep redrawing it and playing with it until it sort of loses the letters, you know, it, it gets lost in itself. It morphs into something new. And you have a symbol that is really your own symbol. And it's great if you can have it. Um, for me, I, I first sketched my, my sigil and then I took out my paints and um, made a few little paintings, like just little tiny, tiny paintings. And I put them around my house so that I would see them every day. Um, but the idea is that you put all the intent into it when you're making the sigil, and then you just let it go. You you don't um, need to like recite everything on your list and remember it and hold tightly to it. Like the magic of it is that you put it all in in the time of creation, and then you walk away from it. And it's almost like the subliminal message you have all over your house that reminds you that. The, this message of self-love and I think it's only been a week so far that I've had it in my house but I'll let you know how it goes um, so maybe that's something you would like to try uh, it was a fun activity especially if you have a little more time on your hands than normal at the moment um, it's a fun fun thing to try out so anyways that is your message for this week the idea of trust let go of that frustration about the pace. It is what it is. Just trust that things are happening for your benefit, for the greater good, 
and really start playing, start singing, start using that activated, you know, that throat, that throat motor um, to vocalize our ideas and, um, you know, we, we can use our throats to channel information and wisdom, inspiration, ideas, all of that. And lastly, just that idea of moving towards self-acceptance, self-love, putting love out and letting it come back into you. So super positive reading. I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you next time.